Happy Tuesday morning, everyone. It's raining. Welcome to Dallas. And welcome to a road test of a Kenworth T680 equipped with a new specification, still under testing, Packard MX-11. This Packard engine is paired up with a Eaton Endurant HD, that's the 12 speed, but that happens to be the same transmission effectively as the Packard TX-12. What could possibly go wrong? So here's the T680. And this is about as basic as it gets. With the exception of some white mud flaps and the mechanics, this is pretty much the basic truck. So we have no hood mirrors, black plastic everywhere. And that's okay. I expect this truck to be very much the demo machine. What's really important is what's under the hood. And that is the Packard MX-11. And today we're using the 415 horsepower rated version. So 415 rated horsepower and 1550 foot pounds of torque. Doesn't sound much, but in a fairly small truck with a not particularly heavy cargo, it should be more than enough. Now the transmission is the Packard TX12, and that's geared so that 75 miles an hour, we see about 1500 revs on the tachometer. So I've spec the gearing here for Texas speed limits where you can do 70, 75, 80 miles an hour, or at least that's what the speed limit is, fairly frequently. Today is an urgent delivery to Odessa, and a lot of this road has a speed limit of 75. So, 1500 revs is about 75 miles an hour, and that should help me get there in time. Let's find out. Hey kid. Don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my bed So I haven't actually driven the uh, MX-11 415 yet and I gotta say so far, this is outperformed my expectations. Now, yes, 400 horsepower is not, not an inconsiderable amount. And yes, I, I can see that the MX-11's uh, torque curve is, well, it's great for hauling. Peak torque is at 900 revs, which means that you've got a lot of uh, ability to haul a load from very low speeds. But even with 18,000 pounds hooked up behind it, this thing is not exactly a slouch. And the gearing is fairly tall, so yeah, so far I'm impressed. Let's see how well it copes uh, on the highway. I use the to push me to my bed. Okay, you've got no complaints there. It's getting up to speed fairly quickly. This weather is absolutely miserable, and that's probably going to curtail speed, but if I can do 60, 65, I'm going to be happy with that. And then hopefully if the weather clears up tomorrow, I'll be able to um, get a bit of a shift on because I've not got enough time in my shift in the game to get there tonight. So I've got to deliver this, uh, this early tomorrow morning. So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Wow, 
well that was uncomfortable. It's been a while since I've slept in a day cab. Ah, I gave myself a little bit of extra time in the morning. It's now just after 3.30. I probably didn't need to do that, but I think I'm going to be okay. So yeah, day cabs, not comfortable places to sleep in a truck, but there we go. Anyway, quick check of the truck. Everything seems to be intact. Let's, um, let's get on the road. Such a basic looking thing. I mean, I like different colors and white's not really my favorite, but it'll do. It'll be fine. Now, the bad news is it's still raining. I was hoping that it would clear up a little bit, but um, that's all right. If it's uh, quiet on the roads as it should be, and it doesn't seem to be raining as heavy as it was yesterday, we may be able to uh, make some tracks. Time-wise, I've still got time to make my trip. I should be able to be able to cruise at 65 and still get there in time, but uh, I'm going to push it a little quicker if I'm able to. All right. Let's uh, rejoin the highway and uh, I'll check in in just a little bit. They don't want to see me make it, they don't want to see me care. Anytime I make some progress, I can see that they compare. I think everyone's against me, maybe something in the air. Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming and they're scared. I walk a straight path, not many can say that. I'd like to play fast, cross me and there's payback. You better pray that I don't see your face at. Any place that I go, I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb And I think that the pain that's deep inside Is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop Okay, I think it's time to push the speed up to 70-75 um, I'll go with 75 because uh, this truck is more than capable of it. I'm very happy with this. It's only 415 horsepower and it's only pulling 18,000 pounds, but yeah. Traffic's quiet, the rain has eased off a little bit, so um, let's uh, make like a tree and um, go fast. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but okay. I'm gonna run with it because that's how I roll. I swear I'm never gonna stop. I could fall flat on my face and I swear I will get back up. Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough. They'll try to kick you while you're down. They wanna rise up while you drown. They wanna fill your head with doubt. They're silently scared that you'll figure it out. I'll make it look like I'm losing. Won't bother hiding my I can't really describe this as a beast, but this truck cruises remarkably well at 70-75. We are hunkering along wonderfully in the rain, there's not that much traffic, and yeah, it's doing well. Seriously? Seriously, Sandy? Okay, I don't know who invented the fart apps on an iPhone. At least I hope that was a fart app, but anyway, <laughs> uh, moving swiftly on. In fact, that's the point. This truck is moving swiftly on. Um, it's a right spec for these roads it's a uh, light enough cargo so yeah we are um, coming up on um, my destination at least we're getting fairly close and that's good um, not gonna be late so very happy with that and I think today we're gonna attempt the difficult parking so um, not so far not so far now in fact here we go here's the uh, here's the exit a little bit of engine braking here this MX-11 will downshift for you. I'm trialing or using still my um, custom physics mod. I, uh, yes, that may be released. I don't know quite what I'm going to call it just yet, but we're still working on it. Let's see. And the access road for a little bit. Um, the limit's still 65. Okay, well, that's that's useful. But I suspect I'll be turning off here very very shortly. Yeah, I think I am actually. Oh wow. It really is right off the highway. Well, that helps. Okay, well, this will be a, a fairly short uh, 
last mile, so to speak. Get ready to turn right. Whilst that doesn't look too difficult, I'm probably going to accelerate time through this bit because I'm going to end up shuffling the thing backwards and forwards quite a bit. So there we have it, my pretty worthless attempt at parking. But I gotta say, not a bad trip all that. It rained the whole time, I hoped it wouldn't, but there we go. And it's certainly proven the metal of this MX-11. Okay, 311 miles, 43 and a half gallons, so that's just over 7 miles per gallon. And a lot of that time I was doing 65 or 75, so I'm very happy with that. Certainly the MX-11 will be appearing in the Steel Productions engine pack, or these new versions of it will be. The Packard TX-12, not so sure. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you have, you know what to do. Go ahead and click like. You can subscribe for more. If you didn't like it, there's always the dislike button. But thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.